Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to do the top 10 city of tweaks for August 2012. The month has just started, today's on the 2nd. But I want to get this video out there so you guys can be enjoy some of the tweaks that I've got on my device and use and love. These have just been released this month, pr probably not this month, but in the past month, let's say, in the past four or five weeks, these are some of the new tweaks that's come on board. And they're in no particular order. And we'll start off with one called not a pad, N-O-T-I-P-I-A-D, right here. What it does is it sends notifications to your device, and it looks something like growl on the... Uh, Mac, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to send myself a test tweet just to let you guys see how it looks. It may take it a few minutes to come up. I don't know how long it'll take it, but once it pops up, you'll see it, and, I, and I'll tell you that's what it was when you, when you see it. But you see in here, you got tap to dismiss, tap on notification launch, and disable notification sound, which I have turned off. So if we want to turn that on, we're going to, that now when the notification comes up, there won't be a sound. But I like to keep it on. Okay. Now you see Tweetbot just popped up and Twitter did too. That's what it looks like on when you when you get Notepad. And Notepad is one dollar, and these will be in probably Big Boss or my my I one. I don't know which is which. I'm just going to tell you the price. So they're in the primary location so you won't have any problems finding them. Next up is a new one that just hit the market in the last few days called Nitrous. And what it does is it adds a lot of speed to your device. And you can see right here it's loading all the apps and you can turn it on and off for any application that you do or do not want it to use Nitrous on. And what this does, it even works for applications such as Tweetbot, Twitter, anything that has a built-in browser, and this supposedly is sort of, of a uh, type of software that they use at Apple to help speed up their browsers, and no, no one knew about it supposedly, and this is some kind of big hyped up JavaScript stuff that I don't know nothing about. It's just, it's coder language, and all I can tell you is it, it does speed up your device you will notice a great difference in it, especially when you're inside applications running a browser from inside an application. And it's 99 cents. Another one is called Any Browser. Let's go back up here at the top. And Any Browser, what it does, hmm, I must have it on my iPhone. Well, evidently not, so we'll skip over that one for right now. But another co-application that just come out is one called Chrome Download Manager. And if you like to download different types of files on your device, I'm going to switch this out right now and put my iPhone in there. If you like to put different, download different types of files, turn that brightness down. It seems to glare on the camera a great deal. But uh, I turn it down so low I can't see it here now. But anyway, what you, what you can do with Chrome Download Manager, it's $3, and you just simply turn it on, and what you can do, like if you get a link sent to you in an email for an MP3 file, or you can download any kind of file with, Chrome, with Download Manager, Chrome Download Manager, and it works, of course, inside Chrome, and... It's a pretty cool tweet, guys. If you if you use your device for downloading any type of files, I strongly suggest you check it out. Another cool tweet too is one on my iPad here. 
and you can see right down here in the bottom corner I've got a YouTube icon and if I tap that it'll open straight into YouTube and you can put anything you want to right there that's called Zeus and it sells for 99 cents um, what it does is it allows you to put anything you want in that location right here let's go to it all right what you do is you go over here and you select the app that you want to put over there and say just for instance we want to put Cydia in there all right now when we go back to the lock screen you don't have to respring either I got Cydia down there and if I tap it it'll take me straight into Cydia it's a really fast way like if you want to open my message or email or anything from there, you can do that. It's very, very quick and efficient. All right, another tweak that I fooled around with a little bit this week is called Preview Maker. And I'm not sure, but I don't think, yep, I don't have it on my, iPad I've got it on my iPhone so what we do right here right here it is it's just a little white and inside preview maker now this is a more expensive one it's a dollar ninety nine it lets you put any type of screenshot inside a white or black white or black iPhone all right and then you can upload them to your blog or send them in pictures or whatever you want to do. But it works really nice. And all you got to do is come down here and let's select anything. All right, you see right there, I put Chrome Download Manager inside that. And then if I want to save it, I simply just hit the save button and I get saved to custom folder, stored, camera roll, or remove image. Let's click remove image. And now you've got some more options in here. You can add a watermark. You can increase and decrease the opacity. A new email from Commission Junction. Sorry about that, guys. CJ Monthly. That tweak there causing my device to talk is called Speak Events, if you want to check it out. Uh, you can check your, well, they don't have devices up yet. But you can upload the Dropbox and you can select different folders here it's it's pretty cool if you want to put a picture inside a iphone just for blogging purposes or whatever else you might want to put it up there for that's preview maker okay another awesome multitask is called spiro and i use this every single day and what this does, let's see if we can get it up right here. All right, there we go. On the top up here, you can select which applications you want up here and which order you want them in. The second row is just toggles such as Bluetooth, 3G, brightness, orientation, that kind of stuff. The, set, the third row is just to some of the information about your device, battery level, what your firmware is, that kind of stuff. Down here at the bottom is the applications that's running in the background. Okay? Sorry about that. And you set it to a gesture. And you double tap to dismiss. You see I've got it swiped to right. Swipe the status bar to the right will activate it okay right here it is here you set your activation method here's your activator events you can add an event here uh, that's anything you want to put inside those rows i was telling you about tap to dismiss i've got that turned on and in here you can add some different plugins but i don't have any installed and here you can increase and decrease your background's darkness. You can and decrease the background's blur. 
and here's where you select your uh, activation method. Pretty cool tweet, guys, and it's 99 cents. Another, another cool tweak, if you do much typing, is called Octopus Keyboard. And what it does is the more you type, the more it learns your, what you're doing. And I haven't been using it, so it doesn't have much learned in its, let's go under here, Octopus Keyboard. Okay, first of all, it don't, it don't have my license activate it for some reason and for whatever reason I did buy this and I don't know why it ain't installing but it's trying to make me buy it again There's something about you aren't allowed to register two things in a month. Anyway, it's a code tweak if you want to check it out, but it's $4.99. Alright. Another pretty cool tweak, guys, is called App Analytics. If you want to keep track of how many applications you're you're using on your device, check it out. Let's see where it's at here. Call App Analytics. Okay. And inside here, it tells you how long and how much you have used each application on your device. So if you get down here at the bottom and you've only used CP Pro one minute uh, since July 16th then I would think you could delete that from your device. There's no use keeping an application around that you don't use no more than that. It works really good to find out what you're using. And if you want to delete anything from the list, you simply just hit edit up there, the, the little minus sign, and then tap delete. And that removes it from the list. That don't remove it from your device now, so keep that in mind. So, pretty cool. I do recommend it. It's an awesome, awesome application if you want to keep track of things that you're using. So guys, there's some applications that I use a lot. Another one before we...